And guys, when you're here in Life is Strange, we're gonna be playing episode four. And from coming back from episode three, a tragic moment. Let's recap what happened. So we basically went back in time so far. No, we didn't just reverse time and just went back. We reverse time so much. We went back in time, and we changed that Chloe's father died. You know that'd be for the better. It was showing all happy thing. But this is what happens. We're in the vortex. We're not friends with Warren. He's dating some ugly chick or whatever, and Chloe's paralyzed. As you review our choices from the last episode, you stole the money, most people chose to leave it. You kissed Chloe, most people chose to do that. Why not? Instead of with Chloe, of course, why would you side with David? He's done nothing for you. You kept the dog from harm, yeah. You know those 7% percent people right there, cat lovers. Chloe has David's gun. Yeah, because this trust right here. If we chose you did not try to shoot him, then boom. At least that's what they think it is. And now we're updated. It, look, even this says alternative beach. That's how. That's how stuff got messed up. You even have an alternative beach. I hope she she tries to go back in time again. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! We messed up so badly, like, I don't even know where to start. What did we do so wrong? Life is strange story based off features, players' choice, consequences of all your game action decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Da da da. Basically, da da da. I think. I don't just seeing how you save one person's life affects everyone. What else happened? Does death affect the storm? Does it... It's just 
also set to look at. Oh, what is him living? Let me call those wells dead. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Okay, so her mind's so straight. It was nice that you so sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I I, I don't know what to say. I thought I should have been paralyzed. Don't say anything. We like thought she's paralyzed from the I'm neck down. Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Just the opposite person basically like like the person she hates that word I did not see that coming at I, I didn't see that coming at all that's letting you know that something has definitely changed wait did the tap change we know absolutely no one what the we have a new context list. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, we're friends with Nathan. Yeah. Oh my god. Now that I hit tabs, like, lost everything we know, everything that we once knew is different. Maybe even gone. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Oh. I'm like literally about to like walk out Drink the room. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. <laughs> Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. You so can build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, <laughs> you are DeLorean. With your scientific mind, you might do that. But time travel can screw things up too. Plus, you'd have to be my living assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Oh. Are they okay? I wanted to pick I mean, they are lonely, but okay. Are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering <laughs> they have to deal with me. I'm assuming it's a game version of Dr. Phil. Hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Mm, something Max, on them. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh, Chloe, dang. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. Mm. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and 
watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Wait, what am I doing? I made that mix for her when we were 12. I didn't for a movie, I forgot. Uh, here's the DVD. I just auto assumed that we were making a DVD. This thing is so amazing that, like, like, I'm really looking at how long I've been recording and time has gone by so slow. I'm so surprised about this. I can't even leave it. I'm back to all hoping it just, just wakes up and it's a dream. She stay up? believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you I know you were beat down after the day with me and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant sorry I can see you're not wide awake like me no I'm sorry I crashed so hard were you okay I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was. They have so many things in here. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Got I'm you. on it, Chloe. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Oh, wonderful. I even want to answer that text so badly. I just want to, like, chuck my phone right now. Bathroom. Morphine injector, morphine injector. This is the bathroom. Oh. Wow. That's garbage. I need to have the lights on to find Here something. Here it is. 
I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, be polite and turn off the light. With your mind. Sing like the same line over and over again. Well, we're gonna inject it to her. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. I got you. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh, wow, well, she actually kept one of the photos. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. There's always time for everyone. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's Be only like, getting worse. Got the photo? I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just... Putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. Oh my god. You made me feel that way today. I want this time with you. Be my last memory. Do you understand? No. Oh. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. That was me, my best friend. I would refuse. Like, no, I, like, grab the photo, refuse. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right, but choice. 
and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Grab that photo. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? No. You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Grab the photo. I'm I'm sorry, William. Focus with Andy and then the left and right click button. Maybe Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. Don't burn it, you might have to use it again. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad, don't you throw it. Burned it. We can't go back in time again. Surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. We'll see what happens.
Max, why in the world would you erase that picture? This is more messed up than the other one. Then we have no way of going back. How's everything? How's everything? How's everything? Hey, <laughs> it's back to normal. Who's Justin? What? Yeah, something's wrong still. Should be good. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just. Okay, we're gonna end it at there. I know, cliffhanger, but I'm gonna keep on spamming these once I get my W career. I'm gonna spend all the Life is Strange episodes. So please tune in, guys, and keep on watching. So thank you guys for watching, and please tune in for the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been a Mortiman, and peace out.